Hey everybody, Lisa, and I am going to be doing the energies of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine today, as well as their connection, just to see where we're at. So this goes for, you know, um, I pray for, for energy and messages for um, twin flames, divine unions, you know, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine spiritual connections please just gonna see where we're at today okay so what I do is I do the divine masculine and then the divine feminine and then I do um, a couple of cards for the connection in the center and then I'll probably you know, if we need clarifying cards, I'll take some and maybe some guidance messages too. So, here we go. Alright, so one card representing where the Divine Masculine is. Just one card representing the Divine Masculine today at this time. One card representing the Divine Masculine, please. One card. Stand your ground. So that's like, um, I always think of like seven of wands energy with that. So maybe standing up for something, defending himself. But let's see, I'm going to keep going. And then we'll talk about it once I get everything all, um, all down. Okay, so for the Divine Feminine, please. One message. One card for the Divine Feminine. Oh, way too many. It's too many cards. One card for the Divine Feminine, please. Okay. Recognition and reward. Like Three of Pentacles energy. So she's building something. I feel like she's like entering into something new. <sighs> All right. So next card, um, the connecting energies between these two right now. Okay, the connection. One card for the connection at this time. Ooh, fell on the floor. Okay, okay, moving on and see how he's walking towards the light. Is it, I feel like this is a lot about that, um, you know, because we're coming out of that Scorpio full moon energy. So it's like he's headed, we're both heading towards the light, towards things that serve us, you know, like maybe that's why this uh, divine masculine is feeling, you know, look, he's like taking, it's like he's taking control of his life. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm going to keep going. So the next card, I usually ask like a series of questions. Like, um, next one is, uh, how is the divine masculine viewing the feminine at this time? How is the divine masculine viewing this feminine? How is the Divine Masculine viewing the Divine Feminine at this time? How is the Divine Masculine viewing his Feminine at this time? Okay, there we go. Truth. It's like the Judgment card. Okay, how is the Divine Feminine viewing her masculine? Can't do it like this. These are like so big, these cards. Alright. We got Sacral Chakra. <laughs> so that's like kind of like Sacral Chakra. I just heard like a 
you know, you may be feeling a little frisky towards your masculine, divine feminines. <laughs> anyway, um, the next question is, how is the divine masculine feeling towards the divine feminine? How is the divine masculine feeling towards, oh, that's way too many cards. How is the Divine Masculine feeling towards the Feminine? Crown Chakra. Alright, so he is trusting his intuition and whatever that means for him, he's just following his guidance. He's feeling it, you know, like I feel like um, he's trusting his own intuition. He's not going on whatever anybody else is saying, you know, it's like that. Um, this, see how he's like, it looks like he's like defending something. So maybe there's people that aren't really with him um, being with the feminine. Maybe it's just in his own head, but he's starting to um, trust in his intuition, his own intuition. So how is the divine feminine feeling towards the divine masculine? Heartache and loss. I don't know, I just heard like, um, maybe some of you guys haven't been in contact with each other. And, or something, there's some kind of heartache, like, either like you're missing him. Or wondering how it's gonna work or something you you know I, I just feel like you're thinking about them and you're missing them I mean look the heart is broken in the center that's like in right there like right here and then the clouds behind her like she's also in a cave so it's like maybe some of you feminine are just um, have been hibernating not really doing much waiting on this um, well, let's see if we need to clarify I'll, I'll do that later okay so how is the DM feeling towards the connection how is the DM feeling towards the connection the DM feeling towards the connection. Oh, here we go. The temptation. That's a double card. So maybe this is, um, so this could be like, let me just feel how it is the Divine Feminine feeling towards this connection. I think, I feel like that he's, he's resisting. See how this guy is like holding towards the, like he's going towards the light, you know, but then there's this part of him that's like pulling back. It's like, I feel like he's trying to fight it, you know, fighting the way that he feels or I just keep hearing sex in my head too, you know? Probably like a lot of passion within this connection. And, um, but he like knows he can't just come at her like that anymore. Maybe that's why she's so heartbroken, you know? Cause she's like, he's never gonna get it, you know? I don't want it like that anymore. But the, the connection energy, this is good, you know, because this says it's moving on. It's like, I feel like we're moving past those, um, you know, that kind of relationship. You know, I feel like it's been like that for like a really long time, you know, and the feminine has really 
allowed it. But it's, um, but she's like done with it. She's done with that. Even though she wants him that way too, just as much as she does. She wants more too now, you know, and it's never going to happen if they're just having sex, you know, like it's just, it's going to always stay sex. So she has to come to him differently too. And he, she has been. All right. So how is she feeling towards this connection? How is the, I don't know, she, divine feminine, the divine feminine feeling towards this connection? How is the divine feminine? How is the divine feminine feeling towards this connection? Woo. Yeah. She's having strength. She's trying to resist the temptation, which is exactly what this card says, temptation. Because there's like major sexual attraction here like just like and it's just always been that way but I have a feel I feel like um, the feminine she's standing in her power you know and this is why she has this heartache you know because she's like wondering like is he ever gonna fucking get it <laughs> And I don't mean to like say he, because I know like the divine masculine could be, you know, sometimes I'm in the divine masculine energy and, you know, whatever. I go back and forth sometimes. So, but, uh, yeah. So that's pretty interesting. All right. So what does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know that he hasn't been able to say to her? I know that's a lot. What does the Divine Masculine want the Divine Feminine to know that he hasn't been able to say to her? He's trying to get it together. He wants her to get it together. <laughs> to keep it together. Stay balanced. Like... He's working on it. Look, I just saw. He's got all the tools. See, there's like the, the, um, the sword, the cup, the pentacle, and the wand. So he's got he's got what it takes, but he's still trying to resist. You know, because I don't know. I feel like the divine masculine is like really trying to resist temptation because. He he probably has like a lot of admirers, you know? That's what I'm feeling. Like there's like a lot of people that are attracted to the Divine Masculine. He's got a lot of choices and options. And this is why he's like been putting off the Divine Feminine for so long, you know? Because he likes his life the way that it is, you know? Or he wants his cake and eat it too, like that, you know? But he knows that he can't get away with that anymore with her or with the Divine Feminine. Alright, so what does the Divine Feminine want the Divine Masculine to know that she hasn't been able to tell him? Okay. Yeah. She, she wants him to freaking meditate. It's the third eye chakra. Like, she's hoping that he, he will get like some kind of have some kind of awakening you know and and see that because I think I, f I feel like he knows that this is a connection you know this uh, like that's like more than sex like that's why he's even considering coming to her in a different way you know I don't know this the I feel like the divine masculine has um, either another relationship or he's like single and like living life like with lots of girls you know although he has lots of girls, like, no one's like, he can't stop thinking about the feminine, you know, or lots of whatever, other suitors, um, male or female, whatever, and, uh, she's hoping that, she wants him to know to, like, get it together, like, 
you know, which he's, I feel like he's, he's starting to do, like he's starting con to consider, he's realizing he has everything, you know, and he's trying to come into balance, you know, and, and maybe he's starting to get some awarenesses, like starting to wake up a little bit and maybe some things have been happening and, um, or awarenesses have been coming to, to him. And so he's trying to make sense of all that stuff. And that's what he wants the Divine Feminine to know. Alright, so anyway, the final the final card, well not the final, but um what is he going to do about this? What is the Divine Masculine going to do in regards to this connection? Yeah, see? Rest and rejuvenate, which just goes along with what I was just saying, you know, um, he's processing, he's processing it all, you know, because he's, he's got options, baby, that's what I just heard, <laughs> but he can't stop thinking about the, the DF, and he has no idea how to approach her, because I don't think he's ever had to approach her in a respectable way, which I'm not saying that to be rude to the DF, but, you know, I know for me, you know, I settled for a lot of crap too, you know, um, along this, this journey and learning to, uh, respect myself, which I really feel, um, is, is starting to happen. I think that that's why the divine, I, that's what I'm feeling is like the, the divine masculine. That's why he's contemplating so much because here's his DF. He's like always had like the, the, they've always just had this connection. They've been able to like sleep together and have fun together. And then that's, that was that, you know, and she was always cool with that. And, um, but she had some, you know, the, the DF has had some issues too, you know, to deal with. And, you know, she's had her own um, suitors as well, and her own, she didn't want to be tied down either, you know, but, um, you know, I feel like the DF is just wanting something more, and she, and the DF, like, is starting to lose a little bit of faith in the divine masculine I think you know or she's like wondering like should I just then that's like the heartbreak card that's the only reason why I'm saying that okay let's see what is she going to do what is the DF going to do in regards to this connection what is the DF going to do in regards to this connection Oh, here we go. Yeah. This is movement. So she is. I feel like she's just going to take care of her life, which is like goes along with this up here. She's building foundations. Like I feel like she's doing things for herself. Like she's focused on herself. And she needs to be, you know, and it's not it's not in a way where she's like feeling um sorry for herself you know although she does have a little bit of heart heartbreak but that like i said like, i feel like that's just about like she's just going to, she just doesn't know that he's ever going to um really get it because she knows that he has feelings for, for her you know the df knows the dm has feelings for the df but um this is the victory card so Kind of tells me he's he's coming, but she in the meantime she's gonna do her and not be sitting at home, you know, waiting for him. She's she's moving forward with that. Okay, I'm gonna get one more connection card down at the bottom between these two. Okay, let's do one more connection. And where is the connection energy for the DF and the DM? Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Patience and planning. Keep waiting. Because they're both like doing their thing. So she's the DF I'm feeling is no longer going to be, you know, contacting him. You know, she's not going to, or maybe if they aren't, you know, you guys are in contact, like you're not bringing it up anymore, you know, about being in a commitment or whatever. And you're giving them, the DF is giving the DM space and the DM is taking that space and he's really focusing on what he wants and how he wants to approach her because he knows too that it doesn't matter how many feminines come into his life, none of them come close to his divine feminine. So, all right, so now I'm just going to like pull a couple cards for um, advice for the bow. So, um, advice card for the DM, please. For so this moment in time, one card for guidance for the DM. All right. Synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase your flow. All right. So this is like goes along with what I was saying as far as, um, you know, feeling like he's been getting messages. I, I feel like he's been seeing things and noticing things. And um, that's why he's like trying to get into balance and he's taking his time to rest because he is starting to notice the signs. And, you know, that's that message just totally confirms that yes, you know, what you're seeing, yes, those are your signs. You're supposed to be seeing them. So that's cool. And then um, for the DF, guidance for the DF, please. All right, here we go. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care without guilt or apologies. Whoa. pretty awesome I just said well because that really hits hits for me you know I am very much a you know if I want something I just go get it that's how I how I am you know and I've always been like that and so shifting my energy and sitting still and doing doing things differently it's been a it's been uncomfortable but I'm like getting used to it and that's just what this is saying is like start letting yourself receive you know um, be the feminine energy you know and embrace it and it's time you see like it, it I feel like it's it's more about like worthiness you know because when I think about me and the times that I've gone through it's like I felt, always felt like I needed to like go conquer that or just like get it because if I didn't, they never would, you know, and uh, they wouldn't have, the, you know, for whatever reason. And, um, and that's what, that's what I, I'm feeling this is about. It's like learning patience. So as a feminine, I can see it, it's just building my self-worth even even more because I know that I don't have to chase anyone and um, the divine masculine I feel like very they're learning that too that the, the divine feminine is like serious like she's not joking around you know and um, that's what's got him stopped in his tracks because he's just like how the heck do I come at her this time you know like what you know, and so let them come to you and just do your, do your life feminines and, um, whether it's him or somebody else, you know, whatever, uh, just receive, you know, let them come to you. You don't have to chase anybody. And, um, so that's pretty cool. And. I don't know, I feel like this has got, oh yeah, we're at like 25 minutes. So I guess that's it for now. And I will, I'm sure do, do this again. Normally when I do these readings just for myself, you know, and I do like a collective energy or whatever, um, I just do them whenever I feel moved to. So, um, I don't really know when I'll be on.
on again, but probably, you know, within the next week or so, a few days. But um, thanks for watching, and um, let me know if you resonated. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.